Hi there, how's it going? As you can see, it's raining here at Gorge River. So I thought today is a perfect opportunity to talk about weather forecasting. And in this video, we're gonna go over three different weather forecasts. Um, Met View, Met Service, and Norway Weather, which actually issues a global forecast for the world. And we're gonna discuss forecasts that are good to use in New Zealand. Um, and I'll probably speak more specifically about South Westland. So that's what you can look forward to, coming up. This is my home at Gorge River. The at Gorge River weather plays a major part in our lives here. A lot of what we do whether it be possum hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever, it's all outside. So knowing what the weather's gonna do and being able to plan for that is really important. Now originally all we had was a radio. We could listen to national radio, we could get a, tw a five day forecast at 12.30 every day. After that we ended up getting satellite internet so then we had access to um, forecasts on the internet. So that information there can tell me whether I can go possuming or whether an aeroplane can land here. And that's where we started using MetView and Met Service and then more recently Norway Weather has started issuing a forecast for the whole world. You can pick any place on the whole globe um, and you can check out what the weather's gonna be for the next 10 to 14 days. Weather forecasts are reasonably reliable these days, but you can't trust them completely. Sometimes something else will happen that wasn't forecast. On this picture here, you can really see the direction that the winds go in the Southern Hemisphere. They basically go all the way around Antarctica and there's not much for them to hit. And so when they hit New Zealand up here, this is where I live, um, they hit with a lot of force, so that's why at Gorge River we get a lot of big storms, big waves, and strong winds. Now if we move over to Google Earth, you can see the world, and once again the winds, they come around past Australia, and then they just smash into the bottom of New Zealand. Now I, I've actually crossed this ocean a few times by ship down to Antarctica, and this is the roughest ocean in the world you can get waves easily 10 meters or larger just because the winds and waves down here are so big moving on to forecasts for new zealand now one that i really like to use is metview.com and this is the home screen here if we go to forecast charts and 10 day thumbnails you will come to this page here and the pink the green and the red is precipitation and where you don't have any of that, like here, uh, that's going to be good weather. So you get a 10 day forecast here and I'm just going to click on one of these to give a little bit more detail. Let's choose this one. So you can click on it and get it up nice and close. Now this here is a big high, so if this were to be over the South Island of New Zealand, I would know that it's going to be good weather. and currently we would have a little bit of precipitation just down in Fiordland and then the rest of the South Island's west coast here would be okay. Um, let's just go back to this page and we'll see if we can find some weather. Here we go. This is a very typical forecast for South Island's west coast. We have a front of rain coming through and this red here is telling me that it's going to rain a very large amount on the west coast. Um, so obviously if I was going to be crossing a river or needing to do something outside, this would not be a very good day for it on Sunday. Now you can see the middle of the storm is red and then around the sides it's a lighter colour and then up to pink. Pink doesn't mean much rain, but red means heavy rain. Now moving on, I will show you yr.no. You know, this is actually a Norwegian forecast and you can search for Gorge River Hut. I'm currently in Tromso, that's why it's telling me this. And 
you can search anywhere in the world and it will give you a forecast. So Gorge River Hut, West Coast, New Zealand, forecast from Norway. That's the global world that we live in these days. It's going to tell us the temperature and that sort of thing, but most important, uh, the wind direction and is it going to be raining and precipitation. So obviously we've got quite a bit of precipitation for the next few days. And you can also get a long-term forecast as well. Here we can get uh, usually 10 days. So you can see what days are going to be good weather and then what days are not. Now last but not least is MetService. And I'm not such a fan of MetService.com. Uh, but it is a reasonably reliable weather forecast to use in New Zealand. Um, so we go to Maps and Radar. And then we want to be looking at three day forecast or five day forecast. Now the three day is going to give us more details. So this is the three day here. And it's going to give us a quite up close view of South Island. And the more of this stuff that we can see, then the more rain we're looking at and you can kind of get a feeling of how the weather comes through so this is the same front that we saw on MetView just here and if I see this weather on two different forecasts then I know it's quite reliable um, and it's more likely to happen because forecasts can vary a lot so this is the five day once again we can kind of watch the weather come through and you get an idea of how the weather moves in the southern ocean area. So I hope this video was informative and helped you understand a little bit more about weather in South Island, New Zealand and ways that you can uh, use a forecast to work out what's going to happen. So thanks for watching and until the next video, good day, good night and good morning.